Six people robbed on the same day. Five robberies since Memorial Day. Is Niagara Falls State Park safe for you and your family? Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller heads to the Cataract City to find out. Summertime brings scads of people to Niagara Falls, but those who are at the falls on Goat Island will see extra police presence after a rash of armed robberies have police searching for a slew of suspects. It seems pretty dangerous just about anywhere nowadays. New York State Parks Police say there have been five robberies on Goat Island since Memorial Day, but the most serious crimes came Tuesday when police say three men were approached in broad daylight by three suspects on Three Sisters Island and forced to give up cell phones, cash, and credit cards. Police say the suspects displayed a gun and then took off. Five hours later, police say they responded to yet another armed robbery, this time on Green Island. Police say four suspects rushed three victims while four more suspects pointed a gun at them. Here on Three Sisters Island, there are these emergency telephones that are well marked throughout the area. And all you have to do if you are in need of help is open up the slot, pick up the phone, and make the call. We don't know the area, so we try to stay to the main, mainly traveled areas. Cheryl Schultz and her family are visiting the falls from Wisconsin. She says the news is scary. I think you have to keep close tabs on, we have our grandson with us, so you keep close tabs on him. It's going to kill tourism. Gary Fickinson is originally from western New York, but now lives in Georgia. He believes there should be more foot patrols to ensure visitors are safe. I think it's actually going to scare scare some people away, and the tourist trade here on this side is low enough as it is. I don't think they really need another negative. Parks police say the best thing for visitors to do, be aware of your surroundings. In Niagara Falls, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.